fall in Alaska. Perhaps the shortest but sweetest season. An explosion of color paints the mountains. The sky erupts with the gorgeous light of morning and evening. Sometimes we're even treated to other lights. But residents of Alaska, man and animal, get no rest. For winter looms, and you know it's close on your heels. Hey, Alaska Brian, and welcome back to the last frontier. Fall has definitely arrived now. Snow is starting to creep down the mountains. Leaves are tumbling out of the trees, and it's definitely getting colder and wetter. Fall is a great season in this part of Alaska because now that the long light of summer is over, we actually start getting sunrises and sunsets again. We can actually chase the northern lights and do it without freezing our fingers off. And anyway, it's been over a month since I checked the trail cam, and I think it's time to get out there and see what we caught this time. So let's go! Here it is! About a week ago, I moved the trail cam to a different tree, trying to angle it more down the trail so that it would look like animals were coming right at us. Um, it looks like it might have shifted around a little bit. This tree is definitely smaller and angled more than I would like, so I wasn't sure how well it was going to work out, but I wanted to try to get a different angle. Um, we just had a really big rain and windstorm. So my guess is it slipped around a little bit when that happened, but um, we'll see what we caught this month. So let's get on back and check it out. All right, well, let's see what we got this time. Oh, got a black bear just sauntering by. Looks like that same bear, maybe a one or a two year old, a little bit on the small side. And there he goes back. Bet you anything that's the same bear. There's a mama moose going by with her baby. Starting to look pretty big. 9.26 p.m. Whoa, now that's interesting. Just four minutes later, the baby runs by in quite a hurry, but there's no sign of mama. Not sure what to make of that. Okay, so this is exactly two weeks later. Nothing happened between then and now, and we've got what appears to be the same mom and calf. Uh, I hope so, because I was worried for a second that something happened to the mom. Ah, this is when we came out and I decided to try to move the cam to a different tree so that we could look straight down the path. Oh, look, he's coming right at it. Oh, he's definitely going after the tree or um, probably the cam. Oh, my goodness. How cool. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, he's just going to town on the tree. There's no doubt that he is targeting the camera itself. Listen, you can even hear him breathing into the microphone. Dang, that was cool. Let's play that one again, and this time I'll just let the sounds play out.
Here we've got it just swaying in the breeze, and I'm pretty sure that's what triggered the motion detector, but I think that moose really knocked the camera loose. Moose? Loose? And that's it! Here I am, just a little bit ago, picking the camera up. So, another fun month of animals on the Alaska Backyard Game Cam. Oh man, <laughs> that was that was pretty awesome. Uh, looks like I figured out why the camera got knocked a little bit askew it's because that moose was sitting there rubbing its head against it. Um, I had a feeling with that game cam being set up a little more on the trail that an animal might brush against it or maybe even take notice of it. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I think that little young bull moose saw the camera and. Um, for some reason became interested and started rubbing against it and knocked it down like that. Um, that was the only animal I picked up in the past week. I don't know if it's because the camera was like almost pointed at the ground after that, but um, that was totally worth it. Super cool. And besides that, earlier in the month we had some other moose and um, a couple of black bears. So unfortunately no brown bear this time around. I'm going to put the memory card back in and I'm going to leave it until I get back from my fall vacation, which is in mid-November, so just a little more than a month from now. And that'll probably be the last time I do it for the season. I don't plan to leave it out all winter because not that many animals walk by in the winter and it'll just be a pain to go out and try to get it. But uh, probably would catch some moose, maybe some other stuff, but I doubt it. And uh, so yeah, we'll come back in another month, a little over a month, and we'll check it for the last time. And yeah, thanks for checking it out. Until next time, stay interesting and stay wild.